It's safe to say that Nintendo are known to rarely deviate from established formulas. It seems every game that they release, while different in a few ways, seem awfully familiar like a new pair of your already favorite jeans. The Zelda franchise, for example, has always been set in large worlds with very linear and focused story paths. In each one, there is a specific progression of events which you have to do to advance the plot and to reach new areas. Maybe you awaken four giants by defeating four dungeons or get into a temple by collecting three spiritual stones from three regions of Hyrule. And if you try to go out of the order, surprise, there's a giant boulder blocking your path. All of the Zelda games so far would have a clear numbered list of what you must do to win. While usually having a sprawling world, there are very few true paths you can take to call your own. Zelda Breath of the Wild, however, takes a different route, and one that seems a lot more modern. Since Nintendo became set in their ways with how Zelda games are played, fans of RPGs in the adventure genre have had fun with non-linear plots, which allow you to become connected to large open worlds and the characters which inhabit them. Side quests and a sense of true exploration were always a bit lost on the recent entries in the Zelda series. Arguably, Breath of the Wild is the most up-to-date game at release Nintendo has put out. It pulls ideas and styles from current popular games in the genre, such as crafting, weapon durability, synchronizing with towers to reveal map areas, voice acting, hardcore parkour, weather, armor upgrades, and much more. While common to see in the genre nowadays, Nintendo has undoubtedly been behind the times when it comes to having these elements in their own releases, but not with this game. Breath of the Wild therefore brings a new sense of fun to what some can see as a net times stale franchise. All the gaming elements Nintendo has gathered together work really well in unison, and it creates a large world which is fun to explore. The way you get around is enjoyable as well. Climbing, gliding, teleporting, running, and horse riding keeps you traveling fresh and new. Nintendo's design choice of gathering ingredients and cooking to make meals that restore your health is a lot more fun than just going up to a store and buying a health potion or picking up hearts off of dead enemies. Fighting the enemies is so well done, in fact, that if I got it as a steak at a restaurant, it would be terrible. Get it? Like, well done, steak? Never mind. Many have compared the combat to the Dark Souls franchise, with even the official Dark Souls Twitter chiming in. The variety of weapons is great, not as extensive as something like Borderlands, but towards the end of the game, there are only a few that are really viable and that you'd want to use. With new boots obviously comes a period of breaking in, as Nintendo have not gotten everything completely right in Breath of the Wild. Most problems are just small gripes, but there are a few major issues which should have been sorted out as well. First off, while the game looks fine on Wii U, the lag is pretty atrocious in certain areas. Part of me felt like I couldn't wait for the future remastered version even right after it came out. I hear Nintendo Switch has the same problem, although I would expect to a lesser extent. Zelda usually brings some of the best video game music to the table with their entries into the series, but this one is definitely lacking. The music in Breath of the Wild is very subtle, a little too subtle for my tastes. Random side quests you run into as well aren't really interesting compared with even the most basic of Western RPGs, but the biggest flaw in the game is in the main quest and story. I think Nintendo dropped the ball really heavily on this one and made it in a way just a little too freeform. You're told the world is in danger time and time again, but you really don't feel it. Right away, you can go straight to the final boss after the first area and fight him if you wanted to, and you just know everything else is extra. There should have been more progression in a longer main plot. The quest line is way too short, and as it is, it just feels a bit... unfinished. But Zelda Breath of the Wild goes far enough to create a new solid template for the Zelda franchise, and it makes her a very fun game indeed. A few nagging issues should have been ironed out, but it probably won't bother you when you're immersed in the world. Personally, I really enjoy the game, though just a little something was lacking for me. Yo, what's up?